Once our bodies were buried with spices Do you want to go under with me? Your mouth will be opened by Isis There's air just enough to be cleansed Redeemed Clash against fantasy Cleansed Redeemed Do you want to go under with me? Find the night between my thighs Swirling through my throat Sail right in Take them all <laughs> Sit back, I'll take your coat <laughs> So I'll take this shirt <laughs> The night is ours, no need to cry Gather round children, I'll tell you no lies Tell you no story, just give you your own And now you're all knocked up with seeds that I've sown You're pregnant now <laughs> It's a diva <laughs> Cleanse, redeemed Clash against fantasy Cleanse, redeemed do you want to go under with me? Clay is redeemed. Flash against fantasy. Clay redeemed. Do you want to go under with me? Screw it shut. Then unbury me. You don't need to marry me, but hop aboard. We all are waiting to float a sea of ebony. So let's start at the end, holding dark with our light. You give me your madness, I'll blow back to light. No need to repent, for now is our heaven. a bunch of cutie cuties, aren't you? Oh, Ted, we're at it. Ted, doesn't everybody feel smarter just being in this room? You can all feel more special than the people outside. I am Lady Rizzo, for those of you that had no idea before, and now your lives are changed. And this is the beautiful Yair Evanine back here, looking very handsome. He doesn't belong to me, so you can do what you want with him. In your mind. <laughs> He's very cute, though. Um, so uh, I am a chanteuse. Can you guys hear me all right? OK, OK. I'm a chanteuse, and, and that's how I introduce myself at cocktail parties, which I find just stops the conversation right away, because most people think that's a color of green. But I explain, you know, it's, um, you know, it's someone who likes to take songs and make them come alive, you know? and. Um, and I, I love to sing tort songs. And I found, uh, you know, it, that's my favorite hobby, you know, and I, f I love to do it against a pane of glass where it's raining on one side. And hopefully that's not the side that I'm on. 
because then my makeup might run, but I'm not wearing any makeup tonight for you guys. <laughs> Today for you guys, it's an afternoon show. I'm usually not awake by this time. I'm not used to daylight. <laughs> but um, so, um, so uh, and I'm not used to audiences not having drinks in their hands, but or audience not being of age yet to drink. But because some of you look like you you've skipped a couple grades. So um, so I um, I did find this song. It's a torch song for our time, which I just found out. It's 2014, and. Um, and so it is fr it written by a friend of mine named Neil Gaiman. Does anyone know who that is? <laughs> of course, you're nerds. Of course, you know who he is. So Neil's a dear friend of mine, and um, he, with his wife Amanda um, Effing Palmer, that's her middle name, um, they wrote um, this song together, and it's a tort song for um, the current age. Google you <laughs> when it's late at night and I don't know what to do. I find photos you've forgotten you were in, put up by a friend. Your creepy friend. <laughs> I Google you. When the day is done and there's nothing left to do. I read that journal, that blog you kept your month in France. <laughs> I've watched you dance. <laughs> and I'm pleased your name is practically unique. There's only you and a would-be PhD in Chesapeake who writes papers on the structure of the sun. I've read each one. And I know that I should let you fade, but there's that box and there's your name. Nothing seems to make the pain go less or fade or disappear. I should save my soul and crawl back in my hole. But it's too easy just to fold and type your name again. What are you doing with those thumbs? Why are you starting with that letter? The search history knows it. Hi. <laughs> scrap of information that I gather seems to say you found somebody new and I know it shouldn't matter I want to blow up my computer I don't. <laughs> I just sigh and Google you. I made a mess already. I'm glad no one's coming. Excuse me. God, I don't know how that. Oh, God, do you like this dress? I said, do you like this dress? 
to something I threw over my naked body. Oh, man, it feels good in here. It feels like the basement of an academic institution. You know, sexy, just sexy. So, um, <laughs> um, uh, it's, let's see. Uh, so, I know what you're thinking to yourself. Lady Rizzo, were you always so glamorous? The answer is yes, and that's the end of that story. There's a fake walk exit. There's no exit that way. Pivot turn, return to the mic in case you're taking home the choreography. So, um, the truth is that my life wasn't always, you know, uh, vintage dresses and fake diamonds. Um, I, was, I was raised on the coast of Oregon to a group uh, commonly referred to as hippies. Have you heard of them? Um, I rebelled with glamour <laughs> and shoes, <laughs> uncomfortable shoes. Um, so, uh, and then I, I got my first professional job when I was uh, quite young. Um, uh, and I have a little bit of shame about this job, but I'm doing a new thing with shame. I'm presenting it to audiences, throwing some glitter on it, and then it becomes art. It's highly transformational. I like to call it shart. <laughs> oh, Lady Rizzo sharted on me today. But it was glittery. Um, so, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Don't worry, Yair doesn't laugh at anything I say, so don't look to him, seriously, never. We travel around the world together. He never smiles, but he looks very handsome doing it. Um, so, uh, so then I was there, in, in, uh, so, uh, the, okay, here's the truth. Um, my job was, uh, I was a lounge singer for Princess Cruise Lines in Alaska. It's like every word in that sentence gets worse. <laughs> It was like hell on water, and I, uh, I, I, uh, I quickly realized that it was going to be, you know, just fiery hell. And I, um, I, you know, I was paired with this sixty-something uh, Palm Springs, and I knew he was from Palm Springs because of the special color of orange that his skin was. Pianist named Frankie Jacquet, and uh, Frankie Jacquet, um, Frankie Jacquet was named that because he had a plethora of jackets. He never wore the same sport coat twice. And there were some incredible specialty items I loved. There was, um, you know, the, j the salmon that was jumping from pocket to his tie to the other pocket. And um, my, my absolute favorite was a, a Swarovski grizzly bar bear on the back because it looked like it was attacking him because Frankie Jacquet was an asshole. That's why I liked that jacket the most. I would just imagine it was mauling at him. And um, F Frankie did not, ha wasn't happy to be paired with a young whippersnapper singer from Oregon. And um, he showed this emotion by doing things like dropping the key of the song that we were doing as I was singing it, just so I thought that the boat was sinking, you know. Um, and then a couple times he would, he leaned over to me from the piano and whispered in my ear, you're losing them, Rizzo, you're losing them. It was easy to lose them sometimes, however, because most nights it, in uh, the Alaskan cruises, I just got a staring ovation. Um, I, um, my audience was, you know, slowly just kind of, the accompaniment to our songs was them crossing off the last items of their bucket list. And, um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> death is coming for you too, babe. <laughs> so, so um, <laughs> it will all be there. <laughs> and hopefully we're on an Alaskan cruise together. <laughs> so um, I, you know, but I, I fell in love with singing the American songbook at this time. I fell in love with stepping into the shoes of Ella, you know, Edda. Peggy, and I looked forward every day I could go into work and make these songs that I had heard Dinah Shore sing or Dinah Washington. I could make them my own, and that was my job. And even if it was for a blue rinse crowd with Frankie Jacquet that hated me, I still got to make music. Love. 
Young love for sale Love that's fresh and still unspoiled Love that's only slightly soiled Love for sale Midway through the season, they came to me and they said that in order to keep my job, to get my bonus more importantly, which I needed to move to New York City and start my real life, in order to keep this job, I had to be a breakfast waitress shift. And so I would sing to the audience. And the next morning, I would wake up at 5 a.m. and put on a tux and serve those exact same people their, you know, Metamucil and <laughs> oatmeal and eggs and sometimes they would look up to me and they would squint and they would say you look familiar <laughs> and I would say oh you have no idea what you're talking about and I would just weep at the table <laughs> it was around this time though I was singing this song I was singing Cole Porter's Love for Sale his masterpiece a, a, from a hopeful hooker's point of view and I was really understanding that vantage point and um, <laughs> singing this song and this gentleman, you know, he must have been pushing 100. He seemed to get this second wind of life, of energy, as I was singing this song. And he pushed himself up out of his walker, and he reached out his hand to me. And we had this moment, this moment, you know, that, that, that penetrated everything. It penetrated the existence of being on a cruise line, time and space. And we had a love affair in this moment. We locked eyes. And I felt the reason why I was doing it all for, for this, this man, this moment. He parted his lips to speak, and I quieted the band, Frankie, <laughs> a little, and, <laughs> and he said, sing Love for Sale. Sing Love for Sale. He was requesting the song I was singing as I was singing it. <laughs> to pay the price for one round trip cruise to paradise love for sale to the bridge pick it up let the poets fight of love in their childish ways I know every type of love better far than they. If you want the thrill of love, I've been through the mill of love. Oh, love, new love, every love but true love. Appetizing, young and healthy, bright-eyed love for sale. If you want to buy my wares, just follow me and climb the stairs. Cause I've got love, nothing but love. I've got love. Thank you, thank you, TEDx CUNY. <laughs> um, 
Okay, I have one more song for you. Oh, I know, it's too soon, it's too late. Um, so um, this is, uh, the first song that I entered with was an original called Under. I have an album that's um, available on all the platforms. My name is Lady Rizzo, what's my name, Lady? Yeah, or you can say Rizzo, it's okay, just one Z. So um, remember that, spread it, pass it, just like herpes. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I hope you guys have classes about that here. Um, <laughs> Because it's real. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Not kidding. Um, <laughs> so this is a this is a, one of my anthems. It's an original. Um, and uh, yeah, Yair and I have written a lot of songs together. And and this is this is definitely one of my favorite. We usually do it with a you know drum or but we're gonna find the rhythm in our hearts. <laughs> okay. It's a, a testament to the power of creativity and the creativity that lies in every single one of us, whether you think you're a creative or not. It's in there. And maybe it just took a lady in a sparkly dress to say, go ahead towards that wacky idea. <laughs> because this is what I do for a living. <laughs> if you're quiet enough in the height of the night, you can hear the song of freedom. Stunning song of freedom. It beats in the dreams of the girls and the queens and the man and the boy chicks and in between while their fears are busy away. The rumble of the moon, it will drown and swoon the years of yeses and noes. Gather the highs and the lows. What's left is freedom. Spread your span. Raise your hands. Catch the song of freedom. Catch the song of freedom. Ride her light to the sweet of the night. This is your song of freedom. This is your song of freedom. Demons within you will think that you're them as they gnaw and they claw and they fight. Insisting that they're in the right. They ain't right. You can hold on to your ground. What was lost is now sound. You can hear the song of freedom. The gorgeous song of freedom. <laughs> the rumble of the moon, it will drown and swoon the years of yeses and noes. Gather the highs and the lows, what's left is freedom. Freedom, spread your span, raise your hands, catch this song of freedom. Catch this song of freedom. Ride her light into the street of the night. This is your song of freedom. This is your song of freedom. Okay, you guys, I want to wanna teach you some choreography. Because we're heading towards a big finish, okay? I can't do it without you, so... Spread your span, repeat after me and do the gesture. And if you don't do it, I'll just do it, what I did with that phone to you. <laughs> Spread your span, okay? Raise your hands, yeah, good. And catch the song of freedom, got it. <laughs> Sparkle fingers all the way down, sparkle fingers. <laughs> Ride her light, just make a little wave, yeah? And to the sweet of the night, outreached arms. And then bring it all in, this is your song of freedom, okay? <laughs> One more time. Spread your span. Yeah, you look good. Raise your hands. Mm -hmm. Make it rain. This is your song of freedom. Ride her light. Make a wave to the sweet of the night. This is your song of freedom. So when we get to the chorus, and you guys excel at that choreography, I want, with the movement, you to actualize 
the thing that you have wiggling in your brain, the thing that you have been wanting to do for a really long time, the creative adventure, the invention, the overture that you're going to write, the novel, the poem, the app, and whatever. <laughs> and life or assignments or Game of Thrones has gotten in the way. <laughs> with that choreography, I want you to make a commitment with yourself and with Lady Rizzo <laughs> that you, this year, will make three steps towards that. And that's not a very big commitment, but once you make those three, you'll keep on going. And you know what it is, because it's wiggling in your brain right now, the thing that you have been avoiding, the thing that you maybe think you can't do. But I'm standing in a sparkly dress. <laughs> I was sent here to tell you to do it. I love you too, baby. <laughs> and in the darkness, I'll hear your voice. Through the fog, you know you have no choice. Through the pouring rain, I will feel your pain. You got to bring yourself again and again and again and again and again. Help me out with claps here. Spread your span. Raise your hands and catch this song of freedom. Catch this song of freedom. Yeah, good rhythm. Try the light and to the street of the night. This is your song of freedom. This is your song. Choreography, are you guys ready? I'm so ready. Here we go. Spread your, spread your, raise your hands and catch this song of freedom. A catch this song. Oh, you! I wish Freedom. you could see yourself. <laughs> Ride her light. Ride her light into the street of the night. This is your song of freedom. This is your song of freedom. Now just bring it in a couple more times. This is your song of freedom. This is your song of freedom. Can you sing that with me? This is your song of freedom. This is your song of freedom. This is your song of freedom. And then you give it out again. <laughs> this is your song of freedom. This is your song of freedom. And we make it really tiny, whisper and gesture. This is your song of freedom. This is your song of freedom. This is your song of freedom. This is your song. One more time, you guys. This is your song.